about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we waited for So you're just going to open your, you're going to spray your pan. I don't know why I thought I was doing a voiceover. I wasn't saying anything. <laughs> you're going to spray your pan with canola oil or whatever um, spray that you have. And so it won't stick. And then you're going to open up. I like to get the thin crust pizza. Um, you can't get the regular, but I like to get the thin. Because the thick, well we were just glad when they finally came out with the thin and I cook it first a little bit so it won't be doughy. I know back in the day when my mama used to cook it, she may have cooked it a little bit. And even when I cooked it myself, I would not cook the dough a little bit first. But now I'm noticing that, or sometimes it's doughy, but you don't want your cheese burnt. So. And you're just going to spread that out. And usually you want this size pan. It can stretch out a little bit more into a larger pan, which I'm going to have to use a larger one. I may need to find a smaller one. But I'm just going to, I think this is 400. Bake this on 400 for just a couple of minutes. Yeah, 400. Just for a couple of minutes, just so it will bubble up just a little bit. And I'm sure you guys have used this before. But when I was couponing, Pillsbury stuff was on sale all the time, especially like cinnamon rolls and stuff like that. And I probably need to go back to that, but um, my biggest eater is about to go off to school, so I don't know. Well, JJ is eating a lot, but he's really picky. And I guess when Sai's appetite pick up, I don't know. I need to go back to the couponing. So now I'm going to brown my hamburger and then um, rinse that because it should be, it's ready now. I normally don't get the 73, the 7323 because it is fatty. But I always put mine in a strainer and I strain the grease off and I run just a little bit of water over it. Just a little bit but I, so I won't lose my seasoning. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so now my crust has came out of the oven and it was in there for, I would say, about four minutes, four to five minutes. I would say four minutes. And now I'm going to take my pizza sauce and just pour it over here. Back in the day when my mom made it, we just used one can, got one jar. But as over time, as I make it, um, I just uh, discovered to just use the whole jar and um 
it's one in particular that I don't care for. I don't remember which one it was. I kind of guessed, but usually I'm in Walmart when I get it. I can't remember if Aldi has pizza sauce. I want to say they do, or do they not? I know they have marinara. So, a lot of times if I want to make homemade pizza, then, um, my oven's just now preheating. I would just go to Walmart, or today we went to Food Line. So I was going to make some food for my husband's best friend, his family. His mom passed away and um, for his dad and everything. But I decided, which I should have known better, to make spaghetti. But everybody and their mama <laughs> already brought um, them spaghetti. So they don't need any spaghetti. And I'm looking for a spoon, guys, or a spatula. Oh, I got sauce all over the floor. And you're just going to spread this. And it's so quiet because Sai is taking a nap. He had a big day today. Well, we went to the gym. Haven't been to the gym in a while. And I need to go. So now I have more time. A little bit more time. I'm going to try to go at least Monday through Friday. And. So they had skills and drills. So he was in the gymnasium with the basketball and stuff. And then he had, then we had to run home. And Cottrell, oh sorry guys, I'm wiping that piece of sauce off the floor. Cottrell and Josiah had a daughter's appointment. And he had three shots. So he's tired. He is tired today. So now, guys, what I did already is I took my... He said, Mom, I'm not tired. But he was on the floor with the blankie about to close his eyes. So I'm going to take some of this. This is actually a lot. And normally, I just get like maybe... Mm, well, I do get three pounds sometimes. Two and a half or two pounds. One of those sizes that Aldi has, which I think it's like two pounds of hamburger. And But this is a little bit more, I believe. But my family likes it meaty. So I will put half of this on here and then on the other one. Check on the other pizza. And we haven't had this in a while. My brother and I love this. I remember one time I think I took it to work in my very first job and my supervisor was paying me to make this. Um, well, he paid for my labor to do it. And then, I don't know how, I think we were talking about it at work. I don't know how in the world. And then I made some lasagna one time, but I was making it crazy. Like, I was buying the box of Chef RD, but I was using my own stuff. I think, I don't know what I was doing. But he liked it. It was a certain type of cheese that I used and everything. So he just liked to eat. And I think we were talking about this one day at work. Which is hard when you work in a supermarket. All you think about is food. Yeah, this is a lot of hamburger. So I may save it for something else. I also, guys, decided to do these videos. Especially these recipes that my mom used to make growing up. is because maybe Cottrell wants to watch them one day or JJ or Josiah and say I want to make what mama made growing up and all I have to do is watch the video so I want my boys to be able to be independent and make their own food I know my husband he'll come and he'll cook his own food and he doesn't really say hope what's for dinner or anything and that's one thing I love about him is that his mama taught him to make his own food. Don't wait for a woman to make your own food. And that's the same as I want to teach my boys to be independent. Because when they come in the house and say, What's for dinner? Well, it's okay to say, What's for dinner? But on a regular basis, they can get a little irritating. I know for me. So, and I ain't trying to hit it. And if I hear that, they don't want to cook. It's a little different if they don't say it. I don't know. That's just me, guys. Okay, just rambling and talking. Y'all learning something about me. 
So I'm opening up this pizza blend. And I know back in the day, they did not have pizza blend. They had just cheddar and mozzarella or mozzarella and a different, you know, a certain type of cheddar. And we would get that. But now they have the different blends and craft or whatever brand, Kroger. Our Kroger is going out of business, guys. I can't believe that. Kroger, um, Walmart. I don't know. Aldi. Aldi doesn't carry a pizza blend. No. I don't even think they excuse me, carry an Italian. But try what you doing? Where you about to go? You tired of playing Fortnite? Um. I don't like you got your lips stuck out. Okay. And Mom and I was also talking about how these bags look like they got a lot smaller. They say there are two cups in here, but it says eight ounces on here. So it's a lot smaller than what they used to be. This one seems like it's, this is 16 ounces, so this is two cups. So I don't know. We were like, how in the world is that two cups? Like they're trying to jip you. But they're doing it with all the brands. So that's why I picked up three. Normally I pick up two big bags. Well, they used to be two big bags of the shredded pizza blend. But I liked the mozzarella more so. Or the Italian white cheese more so on pizza. Okay, guys. You saw my goof up. I do this all the time. That's what I get for running my mouth. So the pepperoni, of course, is supposed to go. You guys know that. I know you're like, oh, what are you doing? And then you put the cheese on top. But I do that a lot of times. Talking. And you can add whatever toppings I've used. Um, I love onions and green peppers on just about anything. But most of the time I just use hamburger and pepperoni. You can try sausage. I haven't. Have I done that before? I don't know if I've done that before. And if you're on a budget, and I think these were two for, no, these were $3.29. Full line is high, y'all, to me. And um, you can get, like, the sleeve of, um, is it Armor who sells it? Sleeve, and usually you can use, like, one side of that sleeve for one pizza and another side of the sleeve the flat kind, not the kind in the bag. But now, I just get the kind in the bag. Because you can get it from Aldi. You can buy like some of your supplies from Aldi and then some. Yeah, Aldi does sell pizza sauce, I believe. Yeah, because they don't, they have everything except the dough. You can get the crust, but they don't have the dough. Maybe one day they get the dough. But, you probably can make your own dough. And, if you guys have a Harris Teeter in your area, they have like dough on sale every once in a while already made but you can make your own too especially if you have a bread machine and usually it's by it's a dollar and it's usually by the daily my loud child up there playing fortnite if you can hear him that's the only time he comes alive and that's jj bariatric way you can do this and I'm gonna do it and <laughs> I haven't did it yet is you can make ground chicken and you can um, make it flat you can season it I believe but make it flat like a pizza crust and they may do that with keto too I don't know but um, that's the way to have a low carb pizza and then also you can use cauliflower, which I haven't done either. And then I believe it's some kind of crust you probably can already purchase, um, already prepared. I've seen it one time on Instagram or Facebook somewhere. So that should be good. And then I'm going to put this in the oven. I really don't. I'm going to turn it down to 375. And I don't really time it. I just watch it. I just watch the cheese. 
you don't want the crust to burn because you already cooked it a little bit and that's what it looks like on the bottom hope you guys can see that in frame and then a little bit not too long but it puffs up and it looks like that you can use less sauce you don't have to use as much as we do but we don't like dry pizza then you use low fat cheese you can use turkey um, pepperoni I'm not a fan of turkey pepperoni but you can I even tried it guys because I love pepperoni you see it in my grocery haul though it's not something you should have on a regular basis make sure you drink plenty of water but if you low carbon it's not that bad with some veggies and so forth so there's different alternatives and maybe one day I'll make it differently and put it on this channel this channel or the other channel see that I didn't um I may have cooked mine yeah I, well no so I may have cooked it a little bit long but it also depends on the pan how your crust cooks yeah I cooked it a little bit long and then you see I put this cheese on last and it looks a little different because I put certain cheeses on last and then one pepperoni but anyway I love we love this what I normally do is I divide it in fours and that has been plenty for us for years but when i know trails going off to school he comes back and then when and decides appetite increases which will i'm sure will be a while usually josiah takes just um if i divide it in fours he'll take a half or that half of that quarter yeah or that fourth <laughs> he'll take half of that fourth and then that's like enough so in other words i will have to probably start making three when maybe if katrell comes back after school and josiah is older and he starts eating more i know for myself i at first after my surgery i only could have as much as actually i could eat less than what just i could eat more than i could and i then for a while all i could have was the half of that fourth but now i can have one fourth yeah one of the fourth i used to back in the day i could eat two but now i can't eat that much but guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful for you again you can make whatever toppings you want you can cook your crust first different cheeses um or not cook your crust first it's just up to you if you want it more doughy you can use whatever brand piece of sauce you would like or other ingredients and I also want to say if you want to use like Italian seasoning on it or oregano or parsley or something like that in it that'll be good we like to top ours with red pepper flakes I know my boys use hot sauce but I think it's crazy but yeah so thanks so much for watching guys bye bye